I just want to welcome back all new students, or new to me students, to the 2020-2021 school year. I know this year is going to start out not as... In order for your child to graduate high school, they must pass the four following courses in the high school. In ninth grade, they'll be taking civics. Again, which I will explain to them the second day of school because there is now a civics exam they must pass. 10th grade, they'll take American history. 11th grade, they take world history or even AP history. 12th grade, they will have to take problems of democracy, which is basically government. They can, may, may take this the summer of their junior year as well. The purpose of high school civics this, they're designed to expose students to American government and the three branches like legislative, executive, and judicial. The election of the president, the constitution, national symbols. We're going to start the year off with a little lesson on Pennsylvania. All Star and Columbia policies apply and punishes apply in this classroom. To show respect towards the teacher, classmates, and people's personal property. They should be prepared for class with necessary materials, like a pen or a pencil. And that my suggestion is to purchase a binder to keep all their papers together for their comprehensive final. And they must bring their completed assignment to class. It's very important that they be on time to class. Should be no sitting on the desks. My cell phone policy is each desk is numbered, and that number corresponds to a holder in the front of the room where they must place their cell phone during the class period. In the case of a fire drill, we'll exit the building through the new gym lobby, and we will line up on the sidewalk near the big flagpole. Every student is mandated by the state to wear their mask at all times while in, the, while in the classroom. I want to share with you the grading in the high school, actually 7 through 12. 93 to 100 is an A, and that would be advanced. 84 to 92 is a B. 75 to 83 is a C. 70 to 74 is a D. 0 to 69 is failing. Grading in my classroom is determined by factoring in many different assignments and assessments, including tests, quizzes, projects, classwork, homework. Grading is done on a point system. So the more points you earn, the higher that your grade will be. The homework may consist of readings, worksheets, written assignments, questions, and or projects. It is a student's responsibility for all notes or assignments that are missed due to an absence. If possible, please inform teacher of upcoming absences or vacations. All of the homework will be found on, the, on their class's Teams page, which they'll be signing up here on their team page the first week of school. That's also where they will find the SoCo Tiger live videos for the day. Ways to be successful in high school civics. Come to class and school. Be prepared. Pay attention and follow directions. Ask questions. Do your homework. Read the book, but I am not giving a book out for civics this year. Study for your tests. Be respectful, honest, caring, and hardworking. Be open to ideas, information, and other students. If for some reason we must go virtual, meetings and assignments will all be in Teams. So make sure that your child has registered for their class team.